What is going on all you beautiful and sexy people? This is Manufactured Opinion here bringing you some more Dragon's Dogma Dark Arisen Awesome Sauce Gameplay and today we are talking about the very popular subject of Rift Crystals and how to acquire them faster and easier. Now I think the last Dragon's Dogma playthrough with Subscriber Pawns that I uploaded people were asking me and messaging me um, how to acquire Rift Crystals faster and how to acquire Rift Crystals easier because I think I got like 2 million Rift Crystals when I started out that video and usually my normal response would be try to get as many people as possible to rent your pawns. Now a great idea would be to use my comment section to the greatest extent always posting your gamertag or PlayStation uh, PSN username if you are comfortable with doing that letting people know that your pawn is available because um, being the more pawns or the more people using your pawn the more rift crystals that you'll be getting while you're playing at the same time so it's essentially multiple streams of income that are going at the same time obviously it's a video game so we don't have to call it income that's just what I'm equating it to mmm delicious income rift crystals nice purple deliciously goodness um, but no, seriously, I want to eat a Rift Crystal. They kind of look tasty. But, um, that's obviously the easiest way to get Rift Crystals. Because, like I said, you can essentially be in four or five different places at once, earning Rift Crystals, and be playing at the same time. Now, obviously, you're going to want people to put you on your, put you on their friends list, so it doesn't cost you Rift Crystals to use said pawn, but they still earn Rift Crystals, and it's normally a percentage of the experience that's earned by said pawn, but it does get kind of complex depending on whether the main player is level 200, whether the pawn is level 200, what level the other pawns are in, in your group. So that is a topic for a completely different video because um, like I said, it does get complex. But if not a lot of people rent your pawn or you still want to earn even more Rift Crystals on top of that, um, I've devised a method that is that will work for both low level players or lower level players higher level players is fast and easy now the reason I say all those things is because I know the first thing that pops into people's minds are gonna be well I'll just run to Damon hit some chests on the way there then grab some perfect rift crystals from those last four chests after Damon were you thinking that what did I read your mind I did. It's the power of the Rift Crystals. I just ate one and I can read everybody's mind now. But, uh, no, seriously. Um, and you know, when I first started receiving these questions, that was what, that's what I was going to do. I was going to just make a, a video much like my where to farm level 3 cursed items video. Just outlining a path, showing you where to get, you know, which chests drop Rift Crystals, and then, you know, grabbing two perfect Rift Crystals after the Daemon fight. But then I said... Well, you know, the reason to fight Damon is to get the level 3 cursed items for those from those chests. You're not really going for perfect rift crystals, so that pretty much deducts 20,000 right off the bat. Not to mention, depending on what level you are, you may not like doing the Damon fight. Uh, it may be a pain in the ass running there, and it may take you, you know, 10-15 minutes to defeat Damon. I know if you're a high level player, it can take you like 2 two minutes to defeat Damon, especially if you're using the good old Conker's Perry app. Damn you, Fawn of All! Why did you have to go to prison? And um, some blast arrows, and you can defeat Damon really fast. And then, you know, if you want to sacrifice some level 3 cursed items, you can pick up the perfect rift crystals from the chests instead. So... I know you could do that, but like I said, if you're a low level player, this is your lower level player, this is your first time going through Bitter Black Isle, uh, you may just want, you know, 10,000 Rift Crystals or 8,000 Rift Crystals to purify that level 1 item or that level 2 item, and you want uh, a faster way, a faster boss, a faster boss to kill, or an easier boss to kill faster. Herp, der, der. See, my mind's just going way too fast. Um, I can't I can't keep up with the words going through my mind. I'll try to slow it down slow it down like gogurt, but um The dark bishop is perfect for this the dark bishop is easy to kill really easy to kill You see my mystic knight here. It took me forever to kill him 
Um, pretty much every other play in the world can kill it faster than I just did there, and I'm actually going to show you me show you me killing it with an assassin here at the end. I just I just raffle stop over, all over the dark bishop and its pet dragon. I really want a pet dragon, by the way. Like, what the hell? Why does some ugly, creepy, undead thing get a pet dragon, and I'm stuck with like Gogurt? I'm stuck. Actually, I got a pretty cool dragon stuffed animal, but that would be that'll be a topic for a different video. But um, essentially. What you're going to want to do is once you open the shortcut, if this is your first time going through Bitter Black Isle, uh, once you open that shortcut, if you go and defeat Damon, that shortcut will be closed and you'll have to run through the, the labyrinth all over again until you get to that shortcut and then that shortcut will be open again. So that's just something to keep in mind. But once you open that second shortcut, if you run back through, run up the stairs, defeat the Dark Bishop. And the great thing about the Dark Bishop, like I mentioned, fast kill, easy kill. Uh, a good amount of experience for the little effort that's involved. And most importantly, dragon, or well, most importantly, next to the Rift Crystals, is that you can Dragon Forge items really, really easy. You pretty much have a 100% chance of Dragon Forging one thing, even if you don't have it upgraded at all. And you'll actually see here at the end of this video, I switched to an Assassin with, um, with Oblivion gear, but it wasn't upgraded at all. Up upgraded at all. And I actually got one of them to uh, get Dragon Forged. So that's something to keep in mind as well. And I think anywhere I got anywhere from you know 7,000. Uh, if you utilize those chests at the front of the room where you saw that I got the Rift Buy Crystal and the Level 2 Cursed Armor, I think I got anywhere from 7,000 to 25,000 Rift Crystals. So on a daemon run running through everything hitting all the chests that are off the beaten path and then sacrificing the level three cursed items for perfect rift crystals you probably can get you know maybe 35 40 45 thousand rift crystals depending on how lucky you are then you gotta you still have to go to the inn as you see i'm doing right here you still have to go to the inn rest a few days for those chests to respawn because daemon respawns right away you can just run back run back to him right away but um, if you want the chest to respawn, you'll still have to go back to the inn anyways. So it still takes time to travel back and forth. And then you'll have to run through everything again, taking time to hit the chest, taking time to be Damon, and then sacrificing your level 3 cursed items again to get perfect rift crystals, and then doing that over and over and over again. Where you could just utilize this method... You rest a couple of extra days at the end. I recommend seven, and that's actually going to take you longer than the boss fight itself, resting at the end. Uh, I recommend switching to offline mode so that servers don't update every time you rest. Um, so all you would have to do is run through the shortcut, run back to the Dark Bishop, and you have a chance to get pretty much the same amount of Rift Crystals you would get from a Daemon run. On top of dragon forging any equipment that you need to be dragon forged, on top of getting a good amount of experience if you're not already level 200, and it's such an easier kill than Damon. So these are all things to keep in mind when you're looking to looking to get a good amount of rift crystals. I think within an hour I got I forget how much it was. I think it was maybe 300, 350 thousand rift crystals. Because uh, you can kill this guy in two minutes. Then to rest at the end, it takes another two minutes. Depending on whether you want to just kill the Dark Bishop, uh, loot the Rift Crystals and just run back. Or if you really want to go hit the chests at the front of the room like you're going to see I'm going to do here again. As I get a bunch of my equipment dragon forged. Awesome Sauce McGee. But um, uh, what was I going to say? I was going to say something. I was going to say something. But the, the thought is the thought has escaped me. But the the principle holds true. Um, oh yeah, if you want to add this to your Damon run, so you do this and then you run through on your Damon run, kill Damon, go to the end, rest seven days, come here, hit the Dark Bishop, go back, run, go run through the labyrinth to back to Damon, you know, hit him again. Uh, you're you're free to do that. Obviously, um, it's actually a great. A great method for some higher level players that have more experience with Damon that can kill Damon faster. Adding this to your run can, you know, net you an extra 20, 25,000 Rift Crystals along with uh, level 2 Cursed Armor if you're looking for level 2 stuff. And, um, you know, it's great for both low levels and higher levels. So, uh, kind of a more serious toned video. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed. You found it informative. I'm really hoping that this will help a lot of people that are looking for um, additional Rift Crystals 
But like I said, please, please, please utilize the comment section. Actually, Game Facts has um, some awesome threads where, pe- whether it be Xbox 360 or PlayStation, where people you know list their pawns, list their gamer tags and PSN usernames, and people try to get to everybody's pawns that are in that thread. So if you haven't seen that, check out Game Facts. Throw your pawn up there if you're comfortable in doing that. And like I said, utilize my utilize my comment section. Interact with each other. Uh, try to get on each other's friends list and uh, utilize each other's pawns. Because you could be earning Rift Crystals from uh, multiple different locations. So, like I said, I hope you guys found the video informative. I really hope you're enjoying Dragon's Dogma Dark Arisen. And more importantly, I really hope you're enjoying life. And I'll talk to you later, everybody. Bye-bye now.